you're no saint. You got a free cab, you got a free room. There's someone who listen to your boring stories. I mean, didn't you notice on the plane after you started talking, eventually I started reading the vomit bag? Didn't that give you some sort of clue, like, like, hey, maybe this guy's not enjoying it? You know, everything is not an anecdote. You have to discriminate. You choose things that are, that are funny, or mildly amusing, or interesting. You're a fucking miracle. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Hey, honey, I'd like you to meet Del Griffith. He's got some amusing anecdotes for you. And here's a gun so you can blow your brains out. You'll thank me for it. Oh, I mean, I could tolerate any insurance seminar. For days, I could sit there and listen to them go on and on with a big smile on my face. And they'd say, how can you stand it? And I'd say, because I've been with Del Griffith. I can take anything. And you know what they'd say? They'd say, yeah, I know what you mean. A shower curtain ring guy. Whoa. It's like going on a date with a chatty Kathy doll. I expect you have a little string in your chest that you pull out and have to snap back. Except I wouldn't pull out and snap back, you would. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, and by the way, when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener.